All right, we are live. Um, hi, everyone. Um, we are. Hold on, let me see if I can fix my screen. I want to get. There we go. It doesn't make a big difference, but it makes a difference to me. Um, so hello. Um, we are going to do another craft today. Um, we are. Um, last week. I did my cork boats, which actually he has trans. Ooh. This is this is why you should cut off the bottom of your um your popsicle stick. Um, he's transited into the uh, craft room because I'm back, as you can tell from the background, to my usual location. Um, so yeah, he's still floating, literally floating around. <laughs> Except I really need to fix his sail, so I'll have to do that for for next week. We're gonna plop him over there. Um, today we're gonna make. Um, yes, we have. Nope, wrong finger. I'm so bad at camera orientation. There. I'm just gonna turn around and point. Him. Yes, he is. He is watching over the rest. He actually has a craft um, in his arm, in his legs that I did one of the crafts last crafts I did at the library before we closed. Um, I did a supernatural creature cryptid um, terrarium. Yes, boat puns. Boat puns already. Starting out strong. All right. Um, today we're going to make, um, or at least do a lot of. This one's a little little more time heavy, so I might not do quite all of it today. But we're going to do um, basically a toilet paper um, afro. Is exactly, let's see, two minutes slow today. Hi, afro. Um... I'm going to make a castle, a castle out of two toilet paper rolls and a paper towel roll um, and some cardboard. I have my scissors and my tape. Um, I have my glue, which I just grabbed. Yes, here, my glue. Um, and I have um, my construction paper pile, which I'm going to just put down here. I'm not quite sure what color I want to use yet. Um, and then I'm going to use some paint as well, but the painting's what might not completely get done because, um, I like to try and keep these short and sweet and I don't want to, you guys to sit here while I paint for 18 years. So, she's mad because last week I wasn't in this room, so she didn't get to scream. She's not gotten to scream at me on something in, uh, well over a week, so she might be a little overzealous. So the first thing I'm going to do is you don't have to do this with your cardboard. I'm going to cut my cardboard down a little bit. I'm going to leave it a square, but I'm going to cut it um, basically, basically in half here. Um, I'm just going to cut that a little bit smaller. This is going to be the base of my castle. Cut. So there's, this is what I cut off, this is what I have left. Um, toss that out of the way, that'll get recycled. And I think I'm going to do, well we're going to do green, because this is going to be the ground. So I'm going to use a green, green piece of con construction paper. Um, I do have a pencil here, so I'm just going to mark the edges. Rough, roughly, I don't even know if you can see those marks. Yeah, there you can kind of see down there the rough marks. Um, and basically, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out your piece of paper here. You can you can paint the cardboard. I'm going to glue on a piece of um, construction paper. Um, I could not locate before this uh, um, our glue stick, which I know we have at least one. Um, so. I'm going to actually glue it with, like, real glue, um, which means it won't dry as fast, but that's okay. So I have my regular glue. I'm just going to make sure I get, make sure you get your, um, make sure you, ooh, there we go, make sure you get your edges in particular and then just a little bit in the center um, and see my glue job. Try not to get it too thick. 
And then I'm going to glue, again, time saving. You can certainly, huh. good to know. Apparently my, apparently there are glue sticks. Oh yeah, right there. There's a glue stick right there. Um, that's okay. This actually is taking pretty well and I don't, everything else is painting. So, but this is, this is my little time sheet. So if you don't want to, um, now I'm covered in glue. Apparently it worked real well. It's now covered me in glue. Um, so yeah, you can, uh, time cheat by not, by not painting the bottom and then having to wait for it to dry. Your next step is you want to cut this about two thirds. So you want it to be taller than your toilet paper rolls, but not as tall because like no castle has towers. Well, I shouldn't say no. Most castles do not have towers that are this disparate in size. So we're going to cut out here. There we go. There's, there's, there it is now comparatively. Cut off this much, which is actually another toe picker roll, basically. So you could, you could add a, another tower. The nice thing about this one is that you can actually add more towers and stuff if you want to. I'm just going to go with two towers, um, and then the main center tower. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this guy for a second. I'm going to take my little guys, and you know the castles where it has the little like squared cutouts. That's what I'm going to do to the top of this. So I'm going to cut little squared cutouts which is basically something we've done before on these, um, or at least the general concept. Um, so I'm going to do that. And these are like my little like guard wash towers. Um, those out. I realize I'm not doing it on camera. Let me just cut out one small one left. I mean, you could certainly draw it out if you want to make sure they're all even. As you probably know by now, this is not a concern. It's not something I do. But there we have the top. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Had to make sure this was actually my toilet paper roll and not my half of a, um, or third of a, uh, Toilet paper roll. So we're gonna cut, cut, cut. cut. We're going to, and if there's a part that's like peeling off like this, just cut that off as part of your. Fight me a little bit here. Cut this part off. Oh. I don't know if that showed up on the camera or not, but it, it kind of flipped up, which was pretty funny. Um, excuse me, friend. Get off my hand. Everything's sticking to my hand because of the glue. And they don't have to be, I mean, I'm trying to make them the same depth, but if they're not, it's not the end of the world. Because um, no one's going to notice from a distance. And technically this craft originally was supposed to be like a, a it's supposed to be like a pencil holder. Um, so these two little guys here, that have the open tops you can put pencils into. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be putting pencils in this guy, but um, it is a fun little thing if you want it to have a more practical or anything else that would fit in these, you can do perfectly. Um, so yeah, there's my two little castles. And then for this guy, I am going to take a different color. Is all into this. Um, I am going to um, cut out a um, cone, cone nose for this. I am very bad at cone noses. Um, just cutting them out. Um, I am definitely going to draw this beforehand for just that reason. Um, I'm pretty sure it should look Like that. That's not, I don't think that's big enough though. Hold on. It's not, definitely not going to be big enough. Because basically the way they describe it is a semicircle. Let's try that. I don't see my 
my drawing here. Yeah, Abra does have opinions on the color, and I'm not sure if she was approving of blue or not approving of blue, but I'm doing blue anyway. Because I like blue, whether the bird does or not. It's a whole different kettle of fish that I'm just not going to get into. I can have discussions of what colors are best with the resident bird. I um, already have some pretty interesting discussions with the resident bird. Because even though she spends most of her time, let's see if that'll work, on these just shrieking, she does have a lot of words. Yeah, that should work. There we go. Alright, so... Let me actually, let me get that stick. That guy up and off. Let's see if this glue stick will work. So that'll be a nice thing to use on him. And then I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. that sit and dry for a few minutes over there all right so now I have I'm gonna scooch my camera a little bit back to my usual view so that I can show you this is how my castle looks so far and this one's gonna have my little barely big enough top kind of see all right yeah, I probably should have cut that a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Um, all right. So, um, the next step is to paint your towers. Um, I am going to actually do a little bit of painting because um, I have time. Uh, probably not all three. Um, but the, uh, the idea is, too, that once you've painted them, you can then use paper or other colors um, of, of paint once it's dry to do like windows and doors. You could do like a black outline and like color it in with another color or, or however you want to do it. Um, but I'm just going to probably do a base coat on a couple of these today because um, just for, for time sensitive, time sensitivity, um, say time sensitivity's sake. Um, so let me grab this plate. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, no, I'm not going to start with that yellow because that yellow is not open. Uh, there is, there's the yellow that is open. This yellow, same exact yellow. Ooh, he's also very excited to come out. Um, I'm going to take a bunch of that. I'm going to make mine a yellow castle, at least to start with. I'm going to take a fairly hefty brush, much bigger than my usual brushes. I'm going to take this guy because there's no detail being done. So a big brush, this in contrast, my usual brush, see if I can find it, is, that's not, I don't think that's quite the right one, but size-wise, it gives you, this is basically the size that I usually use. I'm doing much more detailed stuff. I'm gonna use a big brush because it's just big swaths of yellow along my cardboard. Um, again, like a lot of a lot of the cardboard things that I've done, uh, if you want, you absolutely can um, paint the inside. If you don't want to, you absolutely don't have to paint the inside. Um, it is a hundred percent your decision. Um, I'm not going to, for the sake of time today. Um, that being said, I have previously not done it and then gone back and painted the inside. So, um, it is completely, um, up to you and your aesthetic and what you think looks, looks good. Um, and also, you know, sometimes it depends on what you're using it for. You know, if it's just going to be decorative on a shelf, then you might want it to like look super fancy. If you're going to like actually put... See if I can grab this in a way that I don't turn completely yellow. Um, if you're actually going to put something in this, 
Uh, you might, you know, it's going to be a little more utilitarian or useful, I suppose is probably a better word, then you don't necessarily need to. All right. So there's, and this could definitely use a second coat of this paint. I don't know if you, actually it looks better in here than it does um, in person. Let's see if I can find a spot that's a little less. You see up like there. Um, but it doesn't look bad by any means. Sorry, my nose itches. Trying not to get yellow paint all over my nose, although that'd be probably amusing for anyone watching. Hold on. Got things all out of kilter here. Um, and then let me paint the other one yellow, which I'm going to need more yellow, which is fine. here um and then of course the question is do i want to do all three of my towers yellow or does my tallest tower with the blue on top should that one be blue that's the question i need to decide by the time i get done it might depend on how much yellow paint i have left so if i don't really want to waste a lot so if i have a lot left i will honestly probably just make the last tower yellow too since Afra did have opinions on the blue, but didn't seem to have opinions on the yellow. Maybe she approves of yellow. Honestly, she's just stuffing her face right now. All I can hear in the background is the crunch, crunch, crunch of her breaking up seeds. So that's why she's being quiet, because she's too busy stuffing her face to yell at me. Um, for better or for worse. So. Uh, I feel like there's like a metaphor there for like all animals or at least all fairly sentient species yeah for i think so um but i'm not gonna get into it because that goes deeper than we get in these craft sessions so let me just finish this up here there we go close enough this is obviously a real rough job again i'm doing it for the sake of that's not what i meant to do the sake of you know speed and time Sacrificing time a little bit for my quality. Um, so there we have my two yellow. So let's see. Afra seems to approve of the yellow. I hope that's what that means. See my two yellow ones. Um, let me keep that so you guys can kind of see me, but also kind of see the. Um, let's see. I do have a fair amount of the yellow left, but I need more. Um, yeah, you know what, we'll go, we'll go full on yellow, yellow castle. Yeah. Afra approves. She said yes. She said yeah. Yeah. Which is one of the only things I think I've ever heard her actually say on camera, whether she's actually on camera or just in the background. Um, usually we just do a yell. Case in point. Okay, you can see I have done... Basically almost half of that. Do a little bit more yellow. Try not to waste too much paint. I mean, paint is cheap, but I also am a waste not want not kind of person when I can be. So I'm going to try not to, to waste too much yellow. So sometimes I feel like when I'm doing these, and especially when I'm painting quickly, that I should be wearing something like a smock of some sort. Because knowing my luck, I am likely to just start hucking paint on my shirt. And sometimes I wear shirts I really like. And I would not want to get yellow paint all over them if I could avoid it. All right, we're slow. We're getting there. I need a little bit more paint. And I'm being a little too cautious. Yeah, so many seeds. So many seeds, so little time for the bird. Yeah. So let's see here. Still quite a bit to go. Yeah. Um, cardboard's a funny thing to paint. I've really discovered because I hadn't really painted a lot of cardboard before all these programs. Now I've painted a lot of cardboard. Cardboard's a funny thing to paint because it usually needs a second layer but also soaks up because of, you know, it's basically just paper. 
it soaks up paint like there's no tomorrow. Um, so you, you end up using a lot more paint than you think you're going to need. Um, like I'm going to have to put even more paint out because I am once again out and I still have a bunch of stuff at the top to do. Not to mention all these holes. And as I said, I would probably do a second. I don't need a lot of paint though. Basically just where my fingers have been holding it. Um, Plenty of paint for the top. Ooh, yep, there we go. Spraying paint on myself. See, I said it was going to happen, and then I jinxed myself, and it happened. So yeah, if you're wearing something you really like when you do a project, probably should like put a smock on. Ap you know, like a, a apron from like that you'd wear to bake would work just fine. Basically, something to protect most of you. All right, so there we have my painted my little yellow castle. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wash wash my paintbrush because I don't want to leave that to get gross because I used a lot of paint. Ooh, made that water an interesting color. Alright. There. That brush is now clean again. I'm going to go back in the brush bucket. Um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do from here, um, well, actually, I'm not going to do a whole lot more because what the, I mean, you certainly can glue this down with regular glue, uh, super glue, any kind of glue. You could tape it down, which is why I have tape in case I wanted to do that, but it won't work because the paint is wet. Um, but basically the best way to do this at this point for both my top portion, which I really need to recut, which I might do in a second because I don't, um. When I turn, well, when I turn it, if I turn it this way, you can see that there's a great big gaping hole. Um, so I'm going to recut that. I'm going to do that real quick. Um, but the best way to do this is, in fact, um, hot glue. Hot glue is going to work the best to get this in there, um, which I will certainly do. Um, all right. No, nope, that's not going to work. I'm not doing even amounts here. I'm, I'm going to try and cut this freestyle. Freehand. Freestyle. Freehand. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure this helped. I think I may just made it longer and pointier, but not actually any bigger at the end. Well, that might work. Let's see. I've already cut it, so I might as well glue it and see what happens. Always put your tops back on your glue stick right away. These glue sticks will dry out in practically five seconds if they are left to their own devices. All right, so you've glued this. Let's see. Ah, that works much better. But I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna hold it here for a second. Oh, hold on, I don't think you could see that because I've, I've moved, I've moved things. All right. And this is my, <laughs> my much better, better tower. Um, and then honestly, what I would probably do, let's see if one of the, if my, the one I did first is dried enough. Yeah, this one is dried enough. Um, honestly, what I would do, I mean, you could certainly use paint to so like brown paint to put on a door. Um, yeah, let's do that. Where's my brown paint? I know I have it right here. Here's my brown, just a classic brown. Oh, that just exploded all over my hand. Great. I'll grab my paper towel again. Look, I don't mind little paint on me, but a lot of paint on me is a recipe for disaster. Paint 
paint all over the cap as well. Let's clean that off. I have to definitely throw away that paper towel now. Yes, a castle top. Um, all right, let me paint. Let me go with a smaller paintbrush now. My little favorite. This one, I think it's that one. This guy. This guy's my favorite. This little friend. And I'm going to just paint a little door on him. And then if you want to, like, you know, um, you could also probably, once it was fully dry, um, do this kind of work with Sharpies. In fact, once this dries, I might add a little doorknob. There's my little door. Um, I might add like a little doorknob on it, like a little black boop of a doorknob. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot today. I apologize, guys. So yeah, so that's, you can see, the little doorway. Um, let me just pop the top back on here again. And yeah, you can use any color combination you want. Um, the one that I originally saw was like all light blues, but obviously I didn't go with light blues. I went with a, and they had, I, they had um, white on the bottom, so it was probably like an ice castle. Thinking they were probably thinking frozen. Um, but yeah, you don't need to do any of that. You can do whatever colors you want. Let me put the castle, no, that's not the right top. Put my good top on top. Um, and I will finish this, glue it all on, um, for next week and finish with a little bit of, you know, I think I definitely need like a tower window and, you know, some fun stuff. And so, yeah, you'll see the finished product at the beginning of next week's, um, next week we're doing a relatively easy craft, fingers crossed, um, very low on the supplies, does not need a lot of supplies at all, which is great. Um, this one needed a media... Thank you, Afra. Afra does apparently not like a lot of a small amount of supplies. She likes complicated, which doesn't surprise me with this bird. Um, basically, what you need is scissors, tape. Oh God, I really you can't see my fingers. I really got yellow all over me today. Um, all up in there. Um, but yeah, scissors, tape. Um. Probably a ruler, unless you are really good at eyeballing, because you want to make, you're going to basically take, um, let me find an actual full square. Well, this is basically full square. So construction paper is 9 by 12. Um, if you're using printer paper, it's 8.5 by 11. Um, and so what you're going to do is measure, you want to make squares. So I would measure in 9 inches and cut to the square of a bunch of different colors. Uh, you want a whole bunch of different colors. They can be construction paper. They can be printer paper. Um, whatever it is that you have in the way of different colored paper. Um, and then we're basically going to do a cool thing where we fold them and make a garland where you attach them and they have kind of a fan look to them across. So that's going to be our craft for next week. So again, yeah, I'll, I'll update you on how the castle has come out. Um, next week and then we'll be doing the no there's a ceiling fan the ceiling fan got to it um and then we'll be doing a cool um fan garlands rainbow fan garlands which is basically what it is the craft is called so that's what we're gonna be doing next week and i hope to see you back here and thanks for watching